So a lot of things are changing. One of the major things that's changing is Web2 and how technology is enabling every single of us to actually not only consume information, but also create information and co-create information and distribute the information to everybody. <coughs> Increasingly, absolutely everybody is engaged in the information for in the information for make in the information formation and delivery. Okay? Um, but what we see is that increasingly um, uh, the tourists are always connected, they've got the whole range of, of machines that they're using now, they've got the smartphone, they've got an iPad or a tablet, they've got a, um, uh, uh, a desktop computer, and they're doing a whole range of functions. And gradually what we see is we're going to have consumer, um, um, consumer centricity, where the consumer is going to stay right in the middle, they'll have a whole range of devices around them, They've got a whole range of networks to be able to connect online with this, and they're going to perform a whole range of, 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 of um, services and applications around, anywhere, anytime, any device. It's all going to go about experience, and experience is going to be much more interesting. Um, for those of you from Algarve, uh, a friend of mine used to manage the Villa Mura Hilton, and it's all kind of these kind of feelings that they'll be coming out. And restaurants will be much more uh, 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 responsible for managing the feeling and the emotions that you are using, uh, that you are getting from restaurants. It will be much more about how do they engage with people in restaurants. And we'll use technology to produce that experience and also to communicate that experience outside. Increasingly, technology will be part of the experience. And technology will actually find its way into the restaurant and will enable us to do a whole range of things. For example, interact with the menu, order on our table, uh, find out the, in, the information, the nutritious information about the food, and communicate with, with, um, with the staff. What is also happening is what we call location and context based services. And location context-based services is that your computing or your mobile uh, device will know exactly where you are and it's going to provide information based on your location. Your information, your, your location will provide information according to the whole range of things. And in the sense of context, we will know if it's raining right now, we will know if it's a cold weather, we'll know if it's a warm weather, we'll know if you are with your family, we'll know if you are with your loved one and will provide a whole range of different information. Um, what is happening is that your mobile is becoming your conscience, and your mobile will understand exactly your situation, quick demonstration of Siri, the and will system. provide suitable problem services oh. for you. So increasingly what's going to happen is that we are going to have the solution to everything in our pocket. Uh, the issue is then, how does the restaurant in the hotel and whoever is providing the services finding their way to us. And one of the ways that they're going to do is with augmented reality. And gradually what we'll be able to do is we're going to, um, to look into our, our smartphones and see a whole range of products and services and information superimposed on, on, on this. Uh, we'll know exactly when the next train is coming and we'll know exactly um, the direction that we're going. <coughs> Gradually, we will know, we will have face recognition and pattern recognition, so we'll understand that this person is Carlos, I know Carlos from there, this is the common friends we have on Facebook, this is his latest tweet uh, uh, message that he got out, and we're going to start organizing this information. This will also be in, a, in an environment like that, I know that, I know that in this room I must have met most, more than 15 people. The other thing that's going to happen is that um, the organizations uh, will need to understand the customer in a much, much better way. And when we arrive at the restaurant, we will be known and our preference will be known. So if you've got an allergy, the restaurant will know about it. You will not have to declare it every time. If you have got a particular preference and say, okay, I really want to eat um, this food, what do you call it? Calderada. If I want to eat calderada, the restaurant will know the minute I arrive in that calderada is one of my favorite things. 
and they'll say, if you want Calderada, we've got the best Calderada in town today, and we're going to do it a special one for you. The future is here. We are not yet driving this kind of cars, but you can see a whole range of new changes that are emerging. And a lot of the things that we're facing now, things like the economic crisis, are forcing us to think in a very, very different ways of how we are actually managing our businesses and what kind of business models we have. And technology is helping us recreate what we do in order to improve the experience, enhance the customer, the customer satisfaction, and also uh, readdress the, uh, the business model in order to be able to be sustainable. Those who have vision, they're going to be able to do, to do these things. Uh, those who do not, they'll open yet another restaurant offering the same thing with the menu of the day and, and see themselves uh, uh, losing competitiveness. Obrigadissimo.